I'm up in Whitby this morning, uh, going to see some friends and um, helping out on, on a life changing event up at the uh, Braithwaite Hotel. I've just had breakfast in my own hotel and, and something that occurred to me. Uh, so, whilst I was in the hotel, I've the uh, waitress has come over to the breakfast table and asked if I wanted a cooked breakfast. Uh, I'm, I'm constantly on a diet, personally. Um, I watch what I eat all the time. And I do find that eating in hotels quite a struggle. But particularly at breakfast, you know, it's usually non-nutritional cereals, cocoa pops and stuff like that. And I usually end up having fruit. But this particular hotel had quite an extensive breakfast menu. Uh, so I thought to myself, I'm going to have some eggs. So I asked the girl, I said, can I have some poached eggs, please? She said, yeah, of course you can. Do you want toast? And I thought, yeah, I'll have two slices of brown toast. Yeah, about 110 calories a slice, I'm okay with that. So I ordered the two slices of toast and the two poached eggs. Okay, really quickly, the, the breakfast come out after about five minutes. And I'm sat looking at it and I'm mortified. And you're probably wondering what this is going to do with construction, but it's a, yeah, I'll come to that. So I'm looking at this plate of breakfast and the chef has buttered the bread and I, I could see it soaking through the toast into the plate. And there's a little pool of fat pooling under the eggs and it was clear to me that some sort of oil or something had been added to the water and when the poached eggs had been cooking I could see it shimmering on top of the eggs and he put a dirty big blob of sauce on the side of the plate and my initial reaction was I was really pissed off and I thought to myself I didn't order that but thinking back I didn't fully explain what I wanted and why I wanted it. I didn't tell the girl that I was on a diet and I watched what I ate and can I have it with no butter. <laughs> that being said, on the flip side of that, the chef has assumed that everybody that has poached eggs on toast has buttered toast and they have sauce and it's done in oil. And it's a thousand calorie breakfast and not 400. So what has this got to do with construction? So this, this is a, a good analogy to describe the importance of a specification. So if you're asking for your house to be flipped, uh, renovated or whatever it is, and you're asking for the builder to replace a product, I'm gonna use doors as an analogy, it's a good one. Uh, so you need to replace all the doors throughout the house. There might be six or seven doors. So all you tell your builder is replace doors, okay? In your head, you've got like this, you've got an image of this door that you expect to see, but you ain't told him. In your head, you've got a certain style of hinge, handle, lock, even paint. In your head you may even have that the door frames are being renewed, but you don't communicate this to your builder and you simply ask him to replace the doors. So he goes along and he replaces the doors and he puts in his invoice and you go check the work before you pay him, because that's what we all do. And we're mortified, what, 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 what's this? That's not the door I wanted. That's not the hinge I wanted or the handle. But did you, did you explain that to him in the first place, what it was that you wanted him to actually do, rather than keeping it up here in your, in your head where it's, it's not much use to anybody, really? Um, I thought I'd share that with you this morning. It really, um, I was about to get quite annoyed with the, with, the, with the waitress for doing that, but then I realised it was you know, it's my own doing. I've took responsibility for that, and I've, you know, I've, I've left the hotel now, and I'll go grab a bite in town or something. Um, but yeah. Hope oh, that um, oh, that helps us, a few of you when you're putting your uh, your tender packs together and your inquiries that you're going to send out to your builders for flipping them properties. Uh, just bear that in mind. Also, I think on, on the on the flip side of that, I think it would help the the, the builder as well as the developer. The builder should also be querying that type of uh, line item. So an inquiry comes in, uh, replace doors. We use the same same thing replace doors and you know it would be it would be right and proper for the builder to go back and say which door would you like or which hinge would you like which handle would you like etc etc uh, what color do you want it to be when it's finished do you want gray do you want white blah 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 uh, yeah that's pretty much it um, I hope that helps uh, see you later